friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. Today we are going to do the great April unboxing. I've got boxes here from Sips By, Owl Crate Jr., Book of the Month, a publisher, and of course one more book outlet order. And I'm going to share with you all of the things right now. So buckle up, let's get started. I think I will try to put timestamps, if I can remember how to do that, for each of the different boxes. So if there's one that you're more interested in than the others, you can go straight to that one. But probably most of you are interested in the book outlet one and that's the one that landed on my lap. So we're gonna start there. Krista, you may be saying, you just did a book outlet order and you're right, I did. In March, book outlet had a spring sale that never went away. They changed the name of it, but there was still 15% off. And as I began to see some books that people were ordering that I didn't get when I placed my order, I just went ahead and placed another order. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I did end up getting a couple things for the kids that I nanny as well, so that's why. But some of the ones that I picked up, I grabbed the second book to the war, um, the war That Saved My Life. This is the sequel, The War I Finally Won. I didn't own this one. I have read it, but I borrowed it from the library. And I didn't even see that it was on Book Outlet until I saw someone else hauling this one. And I said, oh, I need to go get that because this series is wonderful by Kimberly Brewbreaker Bradley. I absolutely would recommend reading this duology. I saw quite a few people reading this one on Instagram, The City Baker's Guide to Country Living. I don't think it was blowing them away, but it just looks so cozy and relaxing. It does look like a wintery read. It has snow and like pine trees on it. So I think I'll probably wait until next winter because we are past all of that here in Virginia. But I don't know really much else other than that I saw some people reading it that I like their reading taste. So I grabbed it. This is um, a nonfiction, anyways, Warriors Don't Cry, a searing memoir of the battle to integrate Little Rock's Central High School. So I think this is a YA, a nonfiction uh, memoir about a, a girl who was involved with that desegregating the high school in Arkansas, in Little Rock, and what that must have been like. I can't even imagine, uh, but we follow Melba Beale. Notes are taken from her personal diaries. It's a riveting true account of her junior year at Central High, filled with telephone threats, brigades of attacking mothers, rogue police, fireball and acid throwing attacks, economic blackmail, and finally a price on her head. I can't even imagine having to walk through that. Um, with the help of her English teacher mother, her eight fellow warriors, and her gun-toting Bible and Shakespeare loving grandmother, Melba survived. Dignity, said grandmother India, is a state of mind just like freedom. This one's gonna be emotional, I can tell. <laughs> and then another middle grade I'm super excited about is Until Tomorrow, Mr. Marsworth by Sheila O'Connor. Amanda from The Curly Reader is the one that brought this to my attention, and then Katie from Life Between Words recently read it as well, and absolutely loved it, both of them. This is a, an epistolary novel. It's told in letters, so you can kind of see. It's told in letters back and forth between this young girl who has a paper route and then a recluse older gentleman who she just begins writing to. It takes place during the 1960s, maybe? Yeah, late 1960s. And the Vietnam, Vietnam War is going on and this young girl's brother is 18 and potentially gonna be drafted. And so it deals with the Vietnam War, but also just these this relationship that blossoms in letters between this young girl and one of the gentlemen on her paper route. And I've just heard that it's fantastic. And I'm really excited. I love epistolary novels and I can't wait to read that one. The books that I picked up for the kids that I nanny, I have four of them here. Well, five really. They love when I do read alouds for them and one Beverly Cleary book that I did not own is The Mouse and the Motorcycle. So I'm gonna gift this to them but I'm gonna read it to them first. They particularly like books with animals as main characters and we haven't done a Beverly Cleary book yet and I think that the humor along with the story is gonna be perfect for them. So I'm excited to read that with them. Then for the two-year-old, I got this cute little Hedgehogs board book. We read every day before her nap time and this just looks really sweet and cute about how do hedgehogs give hugs because they're so spiky. Cute. The five-year-old is very into PJ Masks and I'm trying to get him interested in at least looking at books now and then. It has a poster in the back. 
So this is just a PJ Masks book that hopefully I will be able to read to him. Uh, for the seven-year-old and the nine-year-old, I got some drawing, like I can draw books because sometimes with school stuff, I need them to get out of my face. <laughs> Um, so I feel like these will be a lot of fun. They can count as art time. This one is more for the for the girl. It's a big a beginner drawing kind of different cartoons and different things, but there's pictures along with it and she is just going to absolutely love that. And then for the older boy, this one is more fantasy kind of castles and kingdoms and doodling those things. So I feel like he's going to really enjoy playing around with that. And then there's some like activity things and challenges in there as well. So that will be perfect for him. Yay. Oh, I love this. This is just a little coloring book. It's a short little tiny, like the size of my hand um, with patterns, pocket patterns. So it's not really like mandala coloring, but it is just like kind of pocket designs and drawings to just doodle and color. And I love this kind of stuff. I'm gonna bring this to work with me and have it with me so that when I have a moment to just, when I need to calm myself, I have that as an option. Maybe we'll do that all together with our art time. And then finally, I needed one more book to get me up to $35 in the cart so I would get the free shipping. So I just grabbed Laura Ingalls' is Ruining My Life by Shelley Tugis. I have no idea if anybody has enjoyed this. I'd never looked up the rating. I just know that it has to do with Little House. This mom moves her family to Walnut Grove. I'm not sure if something happened with the family that they needed to move, but she moves them to the Midwest where the home of Laura Ingalls is in, in Walnut Grove. And so this is about Charlotte dealing with that. I believe it's a young YA, but it's just about moving to the place where Laura Ingalls grew up and lived. So I'm excited for that one too. It sounds like a lot of fun. Moving on, because this could be a long video if I don't move a little faster. For book of the month next, I sometimes like to wait before I order my book of the month picks because uh, I like to see what people think about them, especially if they're books I'm not sure about. Um, instead of just skipping right away, I wait to see what other people are saying about the books. And that's what I did this month. And I ended up choosing Beach Read by Emily Henry. This is a contemporary romance, I believe, about two authors who take a vacation to the same place. They both write in different genres and they are both feeling a little stuck and so they challenge each other to write in the opposite person's genre. Augustus is an acclaimed author of literary fiction and January Andrews writes best-selling romance. Total opposites as far as when, how they write, but I just feel like this is gonna be fun and light and sweet. And then I did add on two books that I've just heard a lot about lately. So I added on The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver. This is another contemporary romance. I believe it's kind of like a sliding doors type of a situation. At one point she has to make a critical decision. So she makes a choice, but then she gets an opportunity to see what would happen if she had chosen the other way. So it's kind of like a parallel universe situation going on between Freddie and Lydia. Two lives, two loves, one impossible choice. So I thought that this would be a fun read to pick up as well, and I've heard good things about this one. On a more serious note, I picked up Dear Edward by Anne Napolitano, and I've been hearing about this a lot from some of the podcasts that I listen to. I know um, Annie Jones from From the Front Porch podcast talked about it, and Sarah's Bookshelves Live podcast. Um, someone recommended this one as well. So in this one we follow a 12 year old boy who is the lone survivor of a plane crash and it it goes from there. So I think the plane crash happens pretty early in the book and then this what happens to this kid who has just lost his entire family and experienced this incredible trauma. How does he move on from that? And I've just heard that it's beautifully written and has some poignant things to talk about and so I thought I would grab that one with a credit that I had from book of the month. My link to book of the month is down in the description box below if that's an um a subscription box that you're interested in I would love for you to use my link. I think you get a little discount on your first box and I get a credit for a book as well so if you're interested go ahead and check out that link down below. Next let's do Owl Crate Jr. I am so thrilled that they sent me another box for April so I can share it with you guys. The theme for April's box is Cabin in the Woods, and I'm not going to look at what's in here, but I'm excited to see what book they sent this time, as well as what goodies, because Owl Crate Jr. comes with a lot of fun goodies, and the kids that I watch were thrilled <laughs> because I brought them all to them last time. First of all, there's a little bookmark here, a nice um, 
laminated bookmark. Some old fashioned things like fresh air and sunshine are hard to beat, says Laura Ingalls Wilder. A quote from her on there. Lovely. Gotta love a good bookmark. Oh, cool. Next is this magnet. It's like a ranger. Pine Mountain Ranger. Like pin, but it's not a pin. It's a magnet, so it comes off here. Sweet. That's kind of fun. I'm sure it has something to do with the book that I'm going to see in a moment. Oh. A log building set. Oh my word, the five-year-old that I watch is going to love this. And it's like a camp, so it has like... It sounds like Lincoln Log kind of things. Oh, very cool from Roy Toy. That's a nice size amount of things in there. Very cool. Fun, fun, fun. Have this pen. That is so cool. Nice little pen. What oh, has a bear? It has a bear head. <laughs> fun. This is so cool. Cabin in the woods. Okay, and here is the book. This is a nice uh, print that was in here. Loneliness shared is loneliness halved. It's really pretty. Nice. Okay, and then the book is by Lauren Wolk. Oh, I'm so excited. I just have Wolf Hollow. And then my last book outlet order, I got All the Bright Places, I think was from her. And then this one is her newest called Echo Mountain. So this is a middle grade. Obviously, Owl Crate Jr. is a subscription service for middle grade age children and lovers of middle grade. Um, I like it because it just has all these fun things that comes with it and not just the book. It makes the price of the subscription worthwhile. I'll tell you about the book in just a second, but here is a card with a note from Lauren Wolk in there. Love that. Um, a book plate. A, um, I don't know what you call that signature plate where you can put on the inside of the book with her signature she signed that and then a little sticker of a cabin in the woods so this book put all those things in here echo mountain first of all the cover is gorgeous this says when the great depression takes almost everything they own ellie's family is forced to leave their home in town and start over in the untamed forests of nearby echo mountain ellie has found a welcome freedom and a love of the natural world in her new life on the mountain but there is little joy even for Ellie as her family struggles with the aftermath of an accident that has left her father in a coma. An accident unfairly blamed on Ellie. Determined to help her father, Ellie will make her way to the top of the mountain in search of the healing secrets of a woman known only as the Hag. But the Hag and the mountain still have many untold stories left to reveal and with them a fresh chance at happiness. Oh my word, this sounds so good. Um, so I love that it... Uh, takes place during the Great Depression. So we have that little bit of historical in there. But also there's this little bit of like folktale magic, like the old hag on the mountain and the healing secrets that she has. And also Ellie kind of learning about herself and about her family. I just feel like this is going to be so good. I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much to Owl Crate Jr. I will put a link down in the box below where you can get a discount off of your first box. And also just check out their site. They, they just are a very cool subscription service. It be, would make a great gift for kids that you know that are stuck at home. Or for yourself. It would make a great gift. So check out Owl Crate Jr. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This box has a quote on it. It says, I found a dwarf and there is something funny growing in my yard. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Oh, goodness. Holy fun things. Books Forward reached out to me on email and they asked if I would be interested in receiving this book and the fun goodies that come with it. And I said yes, because it's a middle grade fantasy and it sounded like a lot of fun when I looked up the book. And then it comes with <laughs> these fun little things. So in this box, there is this little printout. It just has some backstory, an interview with the author, um, where this dwarf story comes from. But the book is called Dwarf Story by Professor W.W. Marplot. And this is a middle grade fantasy. We follow Artie and Emma. Here's what it says on the back. For Artie to miss a day of school, either he is very, very sick or a fairy tale character turf war he has begun or has begun in his backyard. So begins this particular Wednesday. So we find this young kid, Artie, and he finds an axe swinging warrior dwarf scary, scaring his dogs. And then Emma cry and other middle school friends also find fairy creatures elves spriggans pixies and a hoped for dragon crashing into their normal homework doing backpack carrying phone charging school days so these 
middle school kids are all of a sudden infiltrated by all of these fairy tale type creatures and I believe it's going to be a little bit of a mystery as well as a fantasy. This book doesn't come out until June 30th but I'm so thankful that they sent it to me and in this box comes all of these other things. It comes with a dwarf hat, a dwarf beard in case you want to get in character, an inflatable axe so you can fend off the scary parts. It comes with a magnifying glass so that you can follow the clues along with the teenagers. Plastic dragons, plastic dragons, and a miniature dwarf. And it says, be careful, they are natural enemies. And some plant seeds, a harmless version of the funny thing growing in Artie's yard. And these are blue star sea holly seeds. Fun. Oh, the little girl that I nanny absolutely loves planting seeds so I'll probably end up sharing those with her with all the folktale creatures popping up be wary of pixie dust very very cool okay I'm taking these off because it's very hot Eek. man I love a good package <laughs> this was a fun box oh sorry I just moved you back closer I definitely love a fun package and these Items are very fun to come along with this story, dwarf story. I'm even more excited to read it now. It sounds like a fun fairy tale coming to life in the yards of these kids. So very excited. Thank you so much Books Forward for sending me that. I will put a link down in the description below if you're interested in checking out this book as well. The final package that I have to open is my is a Sips by box. This is not my May box. I'm actually, I think I'm going to be done with Sips by very soon because I have so much tea and now it's going to be summer and if I keep getting tea, I'm just not going to be able to drink it all because yeah, I just don't drink it as much in the summertime. However, this is a rainy day box and yesterday and this morning were rainy days so I feel like it's a perfect day to share this with you. So every once in a while Sips by does these extra boxes beyond besides the monthly subscription that you can buy that's $15 a month they have these other boxes which are themed so I think I opened one around Valentine's Day that was like a love potions box this one is a great one for spring called the rainy day tea box so let me show you what comes in this one. Oh, this is cute for this rainy day it gives you ideas of things to do on a rainy day create a gratitude list curl up with a book get crafty Make an outdoor activity plan for a sunnier day and slow down with a warm cup of tea. Beautiful. So in here we've got some, so I have have had from this company before, but I haven't had this one, Earl Grey. This is from Ahmad Tea. And I have four individual packets. Sorry for the glare. The sun is coming out. <laughs> um, I have four individual packets of this Earl Grey. I am personally not a huge fan of Earl Grey, but I think my brother likes Earl Grey, so he can drink those ones. Chico Chai. The original chai masala chai blended by hand in chico california they have created a chocolate one that i've had in different boxes but i haven't tried their original chai and i did like the chocolate blend that i've had before so i'm really excited to try this one this is a loose leaf tea and sips by is fantastic and they send you some disposable tea bags so that you can go ahead and have some of their teas um they're loose leaf you don't have to have a steeper I do have a steeper now. So someone, Lisa, sent me one from Brand New Book Smell. Thank you, Lisa. I do have one now, but I also have these disposable bags for a quick cup of tea. And there's two more in here. This one looks good. Turmeric Latte, Copper Cup. This is a caffeine-free. So this brand is called Copper Cup, and this is a turmeric latte mix. Turmeric is supposed to be really, really good for your health. I'm not sure what it does, but I know that's really good for you, and I'm sure that this cup of tea is going to be bright yellowish orange. So I'm really excited to try that one. I'll have to show you when I drink it. Watch my Instagram, I'll show you at some point. Um, but yeah, Copper Cup Turmeric Latte. Yum, four of those. And then one more loose leaf here. This is Tea Motions, Teas for Emotional Well-Being. And this is a lemon vanilla green tea for discovering joy. Discover joy, it says on there. Lemon vanilla green tea with ashwagandha lemongrass and cat straw to enhance mood and lift spirits blended with green and oolong tea bright lemon and sweet vanilla that sounds really good lemon vanilla sounds like a creamsicle not a creamsicle that's orange but like a lemon bar or something with 
icing on it. <laughs> Yum. So I'm excited about some of these uh, to try. I actually am excited about all of them except the Earl Grey. I'm not a big Earl Grey fan. But that is the Rainy Day Box from Sips By. Uh, the links to all of these things will be down in the description box below. I have rambled on plenty long enough and I'm surrounded by um, filler and boxes. So it's time and plastic containers. It's time for me to clean up my area and take a look at some of these things again. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching all of these unboxings today. I would love to chat with you in the comments below about any of these companies or books or teas or anything else that you saw in this video that you want to chat about or just anything else. You guys know I love talking to you down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out all the different links down below if you're interested and I will be talking to you in another video very soon. Bye.